Hey everybody, welcome back to another Unity VR tutorial. This is going to be a pretty short one today, um, but this is something I've been interested in learning how to do for a while, and it took me a good amount of time to figure out how to actually do it. So let's get started by seeing what we're going to make today. So let me jump into the headset here. So basically what we're going to be designing is a gaze UI example. This is a very simple example of what you can do. What I mean by gaze is when you look at something through the headset, we're going to be able to interact with the UI elements that you're actually looking at. So I've got a canvas with this button here. When I look at it, it's going to highlight. And when I stare at it for one second, it's going to change. It's going to call an on click event and then change the text to clicked. Pretty simple, um, but it was a bit confusing for me to figure it out. So hopefully this will help you. Let's hop on over to a new uh, Unity scene. So I'm going to do what I've done previously and just clone the VRTK example 001 and then drag that into my own asset folder and then start off with that. If you want to get a quick start on this project and all the other uh, examples we've done in this series, you can go ahead and clone our GitHub repository and just open up the scenes in there. Uh, so let's get started in this scene. So, um, just move that out of the way. Okay, so this is actually pretty simple. All we're gonna need to do is go into VRTK here, add a new empty object, we can rename it to headset. Now in this headset object, we're going to have to add a couple of components. So first we're going to need VRTK transform follow. Uh, and then for game object to follow and game object to change game object to follow, we're going to set that to uh, in the scene camera eye. So it's going to basically follow the eye component set in camera rig and camera here. Then game object to change. We're going to just set that as our self, the headset object. Okay. After that, we're going to add a new component uh, and it's going to be VRTK UI pointer. And then let's go ahead and add the other component, which is going to be uh, VRTK controller events. All right. So you might be wondering why we need to add this controller events onto the headset. We're actually just going to be using it to kind of trick VRTK to not error out when we uh, when it tries to access the controller object, um, because the UI pointer typically this is an object uh, script that you would put onto a controller, but we're attaching it to the headset in this case. So in this UI pointer uh, component, let's go ahead and just change activation button and selection button to undefined. We don't really care about anything to do with the controller in this example. This is just purely with uh, the headset and gaze. If you wanted to implement uh, being able to use a controller for a pointer as well, simple enough, uh, you would just use the activation buttons and set up the controller and the controller events separately. Okay, so set those both to undefined, then activation mode, that's going to be set to always on. That means that we're always going to be looking for that UI pointer uh, array cast to valid elements. Then in selection settings, we need to change click after hover duration. You can change this to whatever you want. I'm going to use one for one second. This is going to click a UI element um, after you've hovered over it for one second. Then in this controller object here, we're going to set that to headset. And that's referring to this VRTK controller event script. Then in pointer origin transform, we can just leave that as the default. And that's going to be setting the, the pointer coming out of the eye from the camera. Okay, now we need to actually create a canvas. So let's create a UI canvas. Um, and then we need to change screen space overlay to world space. And then let's set the position to something smaller. And remember, we've got to scale down this canvas. And where is it? Oh, wow. Okay, let's set that to the origin. And we'll just kind of place it out in front of us here. Now on this canvas, we also need to remember to add the VRTK UI canvas, and then we can leave those default settings. Okay, uh, and then in canvas, we're gonna add a UI button. You can play with this if you want. Let's just make the highlighted color a nice dark blue like I had in the example and then in the button on click we're going to add an event um, for the text underneath the button and we're just going to set the text text to 
equipped. All right, now everything's set up. Let's hop into the headset and check it out. And there we go. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to do. Like I said, this took me a bit to figure out how to actually uh, do it in VRTK, but once you get it set up, it's very easy. And uh, pretty much you can set up any gaze-driven UI components from here. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.